So welcome back, everyone. Mike here. There is about a hundred different things I uh, could be working on in here. However, this afternoon, I'm going to take advantage of this. Look at this beautiful day. The sun's shining. The wind's blowing. It's not real warm, but this is not typical weather here. Uh, we're just in the middle of March right now. So this afternoon, I'm going to do some work out here because eventually it's going to start raining and I'll be able to work inside. I'm going to start off by cleaning up this big tree. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it up above. Uh, that was kind of a uh, interesting one. <laughs>
right, I got uh, most of it out of there. There are a bunch of sticks left in the yard, but that will be a great job for uh, daughter Eva. I'll bring the dump trailer over here in the next day or two, and uh, she can gather up all those sticks and throw in there. And then this big stump here and what's left of these roots, I'll load them in the dump trailer, take them down to the burn pit. Well, let me show you what happened to this camera here. It still works, but what had happened is it blew over backwards. You can see where it hit here. Busted this off. This does not work, but you can still look through the viewfinder. But I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to get another one of these. These are a nice old camera. All right, next on the agenda, I'm gonna head into the house because Melissa just called and said lunch is ready. And I'm also going to order one of those cameras while I'm in there. Then when I come back out, I need to dig a trench here and install a conduit. So I think I mentioned in the uh, that video where we roughed in the plumbing that they're talking about getting public water out our way here. Uh, it sounds like it's a go, and it sounds like it's going to be early this summer, but I know we can't count on it. I'm still going to put a cistern tank in on the other side of the building. I'll have a water line coming in for it. But in case we do get public water, like they're saying we're going to, I want to put a conduit across here before I stone this. That way I won't have to dig right up to the building. So when I get back outside here, uh, that'll be next on the agenda. All right, if you watched the uh, last video, you know that Jim the plumber was up here the other day, and we got all the plumbing roughed in. The water line from the cistern tank will come in from over there. But what I'm going to do here now... I'll jump on the uh, BX-23. I'll start digging right at that door coming this way. Reason I'm going right there is because right about here is the conduit for the electric line, and it goes that way. Once I get part of this dug, I'll go outside, hop on the excavator, and dig that way away from the building, put some conduit in here, get it all backfilled, and then if we do get public water at some point, that conduit will already be in, and I won't have to dig across this driveway, which will be right out there. I uh, lifted the window up my windshield is just a little bit dirty and I was getting that bad glare I couldn't see very well this makes all the difference in the world here
closer? Getting there. 